Hey guys, Harry here from SNS Multimedia. Today we'll be talking about units of weight. Um, first, before we um, go through our lesson, I'm going to talk about our lesson objective and um, the different um, units of weight. So the first one is ounce. It's the smallest one. It is um, abbreviated as OZ, so whenever you're saying it, but you know, you gotta say it in a sentence and you don't wanna write the whole sentence, you say OZ. Um, and it's about the weight of a pencil. So, you know, if you feel a pencil, it's around there. It's not exactly, but you know. But for every um, 16 ounces, there's a pound for, so if you add 16 ounces together, you get a pound, and that's about the weight of a baseball. So, um, <clears throat> if you've ever felt a baseball, you would know. And 2,000 pound. oh yeah, sorry. Um, the abbreviation for pound is LB. It's, it's, it's weird for pound, but that's just the way it is. And so, 2,000 pounds later, LB, um, is a ton. You know how people say, like, oh, that's a ton. Yeah, this is where it actually came from. A ton is um, 2,000 pounds, and it's about the weight of a giraffe. So you probably never held a giraffe, but <coughs> hopefully you get the perspective. So um, our lesson objective for today is to understand and estimate units of weight. Um, with that said, let's jump into our lesson. So, um... Here we go. This is the um, the practice one. It's the the easier um, one out of the two um, practices. Because in this one, you basically just tell um, what you know what um, unit you you think that thing is. For example, number one is a lamb lamp it's a um baby sh uh sheep All right I'm wrong i'm not sure but it's a small animal not that small though um how much would that weigh would it weigh like you know more than 16 um pencils ounces or would it weigh more than 2000 pounds or would it just weigh you know somewhere in the middle with pounds. So I think it is pounds, and that's right. Because, you know, can't be, you know, super over heavy. And ounces are really small, so a lamb could not be that small. Um, number two is a car. So, <laughs> do you think it would be measured in ounces, pounds, or tons? I think tons, because that's a lot of pounds. And, um, and all the machinery that goes into a car and stuff really contributes to that. And it's really heavy, so, sorry, that's, I meant 2,000 pounds. This is ton. I'm going to switch this. Paperclip. Would it weigh, like, more than 16 pencils? Or would it weigh a ton? Or would it weigh somewhere in the middle? I think it would be less than 16 pencils. Because paper clip's like smaller than just one pencil. So, ounces. Let's kind of speed this up. Let's just do um, abbreviations. A dog, probably pounds. Not too heavy, not too small. Gorilla, it, it, this is a hard one. I would say um, tons. And a bookmark is obviously ounces. So, um, with that done, let's go on to practice two. This is practice two. It's the harder version of practice one. So, in this one, we don't, um, we don't, um, guess the unit, um, the each question has. We guess the weight of it. It's not, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly, it's just estimates. If you got something different, if it's not close to mine, it might be wrong, but take into consideration everything um, that object could be. 
like for a full large water bottle, you could be thinking of like a um uh just a normal water bottle. Well, I could be thinking of I don't know, a giant one. It's just we have different thoughts and um some things weigh more than others. And for number one, a full edge water bottle. You know you know the ones that keep heat and cold in very nicely? Thinking of those. I think that would be about like with full water about I don't know, five pounds. It's pounds, not sixteen. And then a lamp probably be about five pounds to ten pounds, so like eight pounds. Oh, I should just use the squiggly sign. So this the squiggly um um you know the squiggly version of this means about I can't really draw it all that well, but it means about so whenever you see that it means it's an estimate. So an elephant would weigh about wow, that's very big. Five tons. Very big. Then a letter. If you mail it in the mail it'd probably be um uh like five ounces, I would say. If you didn't put like anything metal in it. Five O Z. Then a cellular phone. I think it would weigh about the same too. I mean, it depends if you have like a big bulky one or like a super small one. But I would say five to ten ounces. Or maybe if it was a super super big one. I don't know, a pound? So let's just say ten ounces. Not all of them are ten ounces, but I'm just saying this is the best range. And then a lamp post, you know the ones that they have in neighborhoods just at night they're on. I think I'm thinking of that one. So I'd say they're pretty heavy. They're full of like you know, metal and sometimes cement. Let's go with um three tons. That sounds good, right? Um, yeah. So let's go on to problem time. This is problem time. Um, you pause the video and you do them on your own, but not yet. Um, I'm just going to tell you um, to post your score down below. Now your actual answer. Um, like your score would be, if you got two wrong, it would be one out of three. If you got one wrong, two out of three. And if you got none wrong, three out of three. Or zero out of three. I just, I'm curious to know. Also, um, you can give us feedback about how we could do better on our videos and help you more. So, um, make sure to not post your answer down below. That would spoil it for future viewers. And, um, now's the time to pause. Okay, I think that's long enough. Um, you're supposed to pause back there. Don't think you're supposed to do it all in that time. But, um, let's move on to the answer. I, I just showed a little bit, yeah. So, um, a napkin would be about one ounce. Because napkins are just, like, very thin paper. Maybe a little less than an ounce. Very, very, very small. But a cat, if it depends if it's fat or skinny or it's somewhere in between. But I would say about ten pounds could be wrong could be different kinds of cats you know just a rough estimate and then a medium sized boat so i'm st i'm talking about like you know not like the fisherman the fishing boats at all like you know the big boats not that big they have the back deck and they have the driver's seat and you know it's medium sized it's not a yacht it's not a small fishing boat it's a medium sized boat I'd say about five tons. There are bigger ones and smaller ones. You know, it could just be anything, really. And, uh, yeah. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in future videos.
Thank you for watching. Thank you.